Yeah, I don't care what they say. No, oh, wait, I can move this over too. There we go. Oh, that sounds infinitely better. You know what? I don't know what they think. Team sucks. My microphone works. Oh! Hello, folks. Welcome back. We're on the one, the only. I am a hobo Tom. I do apologize if I look a little bit distracted. It's one of those work days again. This joy. Yeah, you can tell. Because it's one of those few joys. There we go. I don't know, that, should, that might be better. I know, this joy of working at home, I get to do a little bit of everything. A lot of nothing. And make money while I'm doing that. But first, before I do any of that, I have a whole bunch of thank yous to give out. Because I watched Triple Mania, and it's still up on YouTube. So if you want to see what happened during Triple Mania... Blue Demon Jr. getting knocked out. That's what he gets for using hammers. Um, what else fun happened? People throwing money at wrestlers. I want people to throw money at me. I wouldn't mind that. That's, I've never seen that before. And probably the funny thing is, the referee was pocketing that money. And the one wrestler had a handful of bills or pesos. But whatever they use there in, in Mexico. But I do have some shout outs to give. Again, a lot of people always watch. Probably one of my best shows. Oh, and a little preview. Remember, June 18th, I will be doing this again. Because, well, I can. So let's see here. Let me go through the, the list of hobos. The hobo list. Yes. Let's see here. I did get everyone. I don't think I missed anyone. If I did miss you, I apologize. Again, check out my video. You can see the party I had, too. So, Angel. You, sir, always beat that 10 count. Because you always get in at 6. Eric Chase, you sir, 
are a definite master of the air guitar. Sonny Bimbo, you're already in the Daytona Beach Bomb Fight League. If you guys want to be like Sonny Bimbo, you have to contact me a lot more than once. Let's see here. Hugo Cabreras, you're just there chilling out with your briefcase boombox. Will Rally Sport Rally, again another member. Not only do you get to, are you subscribed to my channel, thank you very much, sir. And Will Rally Sport Rally, another member of the Daytona Beach Bum Fight League. There are perks to trying to shout out to me. I will say that. Brandon Guadalupe, Snowman Rosaro. That's too many names. You, sir, need to crawl out of here. <laughs> they had me. Oh, wow, I probably pronounced that right for a change. You, sir. Always win by dirty pen. Homero Simpian. You, sir, like most others, part of the El Generico Band! CR Sonato. Holy shit. Ivan 
Pinaleza. That's a weird combination of names, but whatever. You, sir, know that Jordan has back. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. I like big butts and I cannot lie. And finally, a new subscriber. Yes. James Hayes II. You, sir, are that luchador on a forklift. Just don't fall. Those are all the thank yous. Um, a little bit news and notes about Triple Mania. I'll tell you what. If I went other ways, I could have made a fortune. So I think everyone over the age of 41. Ty Conti, Sammy, Sammy Guevara, bitch. One. Helly Park. Defeated Volano the Fourth. Volano the Fourth was like picking up money. Left and right. Um, yeah, Alberto Al Patron was not there. I think he's having court issues. Or it's like ex wife died or something. Never good. I don't even know who Ray Rayo de Alisco was. Pagano. <laughs> I did get that right. Pagano, Bandito, and Taya actually won. Mainly because. The referee got sprayed enough in the face with the fire extinguisher. He's like, nah, nah, I've had enough. You, you get it. Kanek won. Uh, again, all the old people won. They don't have to lose their mask. Young Bucks won. That was a fun match. Io del Vikingo. So good. Again, my friend Hori and I, we were watching that. We were like, holy crap. I could never do any of that stuff. I'd hurt myself in so many different possible ways that wouldn't even be funny. Right, cheese butt? Oh, stay, 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 get over here. Uh, cat's sniffing around. Let's see if I can get her in a camera. Oh, I can almost see a fuzzy, I saw a fuzzy ear disappear. She's like, why are things moved around? But yeah, I did pretty poor on my guessing. Again, if I was gonna go in another direction, I think I would've gone I think I would have done better. If I just chose all the old people that I didn't know, I would be a genius. But no, that's not necessarily me. But you know what? I guess I'm just a mark for wrestling. A lot of being said, work's being weird. We're all day long. I can finally, yeah, I'll keep that because I'll add that to my impact. I'm about to score a new prompt. I'm going back and forth. I guess that's good. Enough about what I'm dealing with. Oh, okay. I should really slow down. 
Maybe then I won't. Whatever. No one cares about you playing volleyball. But with that being said, let's talk about some Monday Night Raw. This was a fair, this was a weird draw. The beginning went really fast. The end seemed to take absolutely forever. And let's see here. Um, starts off with the Roman Reigns promo. Him and the Usos are there. Orton and Matt Riddle come out from the middle of nowhere. They jump him. Well, what was that? Oh, come up here. You little scary kitty. Jump him. RKO's. RKO's out of everywhere. That's the best. Let's see here. Um, the sound. Test my microphone. Nah, that's working. Can I change it? Manage sound devices. Yeah, you know what? Input. Yeah, blue snowball. No, oh, I want to keep that. That's good. So you're going to mix. Yeah. That's okay. Cheese, but come over here. Bop, 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 bop. Oh, I almost had her. Got to see the El Hobo Gato kind of leaving, slinking her way out there right now. There she is. Yeah. Let's see her. Yeah, I had to move this around, so I'm kind of getting reused to stuff. But yeah. That was pretty fun. Again, RKO's for everyone. Drew McIntyre comes out. It changes things for a backlash, but not really. I'll get into that kind of... I'll have an addendum. A fancy word for him adding stuff at the end of the show. Um, starts off with Kevin Owens and the Alpha Academy. They take on the Street Profits and Ezekiel. Chad. Chad is so good. He's such a good collegiate wrestler. You're just being fussy. I'm the classic collegiate waist lock. I'm gonna trap you. you know, another fuzziness hit my leg. You're gonna say hello to everyone. Um, or I was like, yeah, classic weight loss. So good. So quick into the arm bar. Oh, I got you now. Ha <laughs> ha. Yes. The hobo cat. Oh, don't claw a shirt. I have so many shirts that are claw marks. Huh, what's this? Cheese pa! Why do you keep on giving my fans the middle claw? What's wrong with you? I know you just want to be held. But yeah, um again, so quick into the arm bar is so good. Otis hits his splash. The catch Northern Lights suplex by Chad Chad Gable is also good. Kevin Owens is talking it up so much. Told the crowd to what was that? What did he tell the crowd to do? She's fine. No, he didn't. He didn't tell the crowd that. Ouch. You popped me in another room. Boop you. Boop. Ouch. It's not a boop. This is a boop. Boop. Ah. You're vicious. I love you anyway, though. Yeah, um. Kevin Owens told the crowd, suck it. Uh, Ezekiel got in, hit the spine buster, the mule kick, the delayed suplex. That was really good by Zeke. Um, then it became a typical spot fest. Ezekiel got in a couple more moves. Chad Owens, though, he got, he got the ni nice cradle, very collegiate style cradle. I feel like Spectre. So you know Mr. Bond. I expect you to die. Right, Cheese Pa? What do you expect? Oh, <laughs> he did this so shamelessly, too. So, this was actually a pretty fun match. Uh, KO and the Alpha Academy wins. The heels win. So, that's pretty good. Oh, I have to move that notebook. That's right. You know what? Classic cheeseburger match. Then the next thing, let's see here. Let me take a look at my notes, get my video back up. 
We have an AJ Styles interview. He definitely wants to get a piece of... No, I don't want that. I want this. I don't care about this. Yeah, back down there. Um, wait, the hell would I do? There we go. All right, cheese pie. You're, you're just uber fuzzy, aren't you? Jeez, you're just such a vulgar kitty cat. Um, yeah, that was pretty good. And there was a boo Sonya Deville recap. Cheese pie, what do you think of Sonya Deville? Well, that's the right opinion, though. You just wanted to be held. It's weird. You never wanted to be held. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Jeet versus... Kurt Hansen. Yeah, guess who won? It's just a mugging. Jeet eventually locks in the choke, the kind of like scissors choke. That was it. Jeet wins. Building him up. We'll see what happens with him in the future. Ham sandwich match. And we see Damian Priest and Edge come up. And this, of course, is going to lead to our next match. It's AJ Styles taking on Damian Priest. And if AJ Styles wins, that means Damian Priest is going to be Banned from ringside. Now you want to get a little. I feel you shed all over me. Fuzzball. But I love her though. She's cuddly. And if not, I'd be fairly bored. So let's see. Let's get back into my position. Um, yeah. This was a good match. Uh, Dam Dam Damien Priest started off fast, furious with a broken arrow. Um, eventually, both of them go over the top. AJ gets speed up for most of the match. AJ hit a flying forearm. Again, a shoulder. Into the post. Into the first post. That was pretty good. Um, AJ had the blue thunder bomb. Again, the Pele kick. AJ Styles was so smooth in the ring. Even working with much bigger, slightly more lumbering opponent. Such as Damien Priest. He's still so good. Uh, he couldn't get the, the calf crusher. Edge distracts. Um, I tried to... AJ Styles eventually does hit a roll up on Damien Priest. And then they threaten AJ's... To break AJ's arm. That's not good. That's the phenomenal forearm. And then... No, no. I shot a human. I got a new mag. I shot it with my gun. I got a. I shot a human. I think I'm on the run now. Finn Balor, the real rock and roller, because he's. Too sweet for life. And the bet, so he made the save. Then we saw a little too sweet action going on. Ooh, yeah. The bullet club's back, bitches. So that was pretty cool. Again, I love the fact that they acknowledged that they kind of know each other. Again, a bit of history from New Japan. So that was pretty cool. Um, again, good solid match. Sessing's up for Backlash. Cheeseburger match. A little bit more with Omos and MVP. Cedric says, hey, if I take care of this guy, you'll help me, right? So, yeah. So, again, that's going to set up a match. A little bit later. That's done for the day. I can erase that off the board of stuff. And then we have Miz TV. Ali comes out. Theory comes over. So we have Ali versus The Miz and Austin Theory. Um, Ali begins to work over The Miz a little bit. 
Uh, you drop kick. Ali has a sweet looking drop kick too. On um, Theory, Miz, again, he goes out to chase after Theory, beat him up a little bit. Miz, as Ali's trying to get in the ring, does the skull crushing finale. Miz and Theory win. Granted, it was a two on one situation. Um, it's still pretty solid though. I mean, not bad. It doesn't necessarily bury Ali. I don't know if it sets Ali up for anything spectacular, though. Ham yeah, sandwich of a match. Yeah, and then Ciampa shows up. Rex Ali continues his stuff. There was some 24-7 nonsense in the back. Um, Nikki Cross had a match, or she actually did, she actually pulled the roll-up victory over Dana Brooke in the back, came flying off some of that stage, uh, stage case equipment. And this leads us to the 24-7 match, it was Dana Brooke versus Nikki Glenn Cross, I refuse to call her Nikki Ash. Like, I know she's doing what she's told to do, and she's probably being a good worker about it, but oh my goodness, she's just burying herself though. Uh, Nikki, I do like the fact she uses a double axe handle, uh, the two-handed sledgehammer move. Um, Nikki went into the corner, but no. She got, she posted herself. They go on the apron. Nikki pulls her ape. Her Nikki does her ring apron spot from the top, from the top rope. That was that was no wait, yeah, the ring apron spot. That was pretty cool. Dana hit that cartwheel elbow. Powerbomb, Dana Brooke retains her championship or, or gets her championship back. And then the whole mess, R-Truth, Tamina, um, Tazawa come in the ring. Uh, what's his, Reggie rolls up Dana Brooke. Dana Brooke wants a divorce. You know what, Dana Brooke, if you want a divorce, I'm single, okay? I would never pin you, Dana. You could always be on top. <laughs> That's terrible sounding, by the way. But yeah, all this garbage. It, it was actually kind of enjoyable to watch. Ham sandwich. Awesome, was it? There was a Becky Lynch interview. That was okay. Be Becky, <laughs> Becky looks like Crystal Becky Meth. Cause yeah, her next she's like having that kid got her old and skinny for some reason. I mean, she has like mommy neck. She isn't necessarily bad. Her, her, her. She, she's sagging a little bit. I'll say that. Yeah, I know. She needs a little bit. She could use, like, probably 20 more pounds. Not necessarily muscle, even fat, just to make everything right again. Uh, then Seth made an appearance. Cody shows up. Seth is a goof. Who cares? Cody will eventually challenge Roman. I just don't know when. We'll see what happens there. Um... Liv Morgan had an interview. Uh, Reggie and R Truth were backstage. Hannah detected. Nikki and Dewdrop show up. Then in our um, main event, we had Oscar, Bianca Belair, and Liv Morgan taking on Crystal Becky. That just sounds funny. Crystal Becky or, or Becky Meth. One of the two. Uh, Rhea Ripley. And boo, Sonya Deville. Boo, boo. Um, this is actually a pretty fun match. Uh, Oscar goes right after Becky. That's good. Sonya, yeah. Tags in Rhea Ripley. 
versus Bianca Belair. Definitely healing up. Liv Morgan hits a great looking missile drop kick. Um, but then she like wound up going head first into the turnbuckle. I don't know why wrestlers do that. Just like stop. Can't be that hard. Bianca hit the big suplex to the heels. The double team suplex off the top rope. Almost a tower doom spot. Not quite that though. Asuka the German suplex on the shiningest wizard. Asuka's so good. It's so good to see Asuka back. And there was a combo hip attack code breaker, which, oh, that looked absolutely amazing. So Sonya Deville's along, I think it was Sonya Deville or Rhea Ripley, was along the ropes. Asuka hits the hip attack. Right there, perfect position was Liv Morgan. Hit the code breaker. Then, of course, is your triple threat, um, or, yeah. Trio's spot fest. Eventually, Liv hit the oblivion. Liv Morgan, Asuka, and Bianca Belair in win. Cheeseburger match. Kind of a weird show, but not a bad one, though. The middle just seemed to take forever. And that sounds, that's very typical of a bunch of Raws. So now I'm going to have an addendum. Um, I already made my... Put them... Oh yeah, I already made my picks for Backlash. For the most part, it's really the same. I'm just going to add two. Bobby Lashley's going to win. He's taking on Omos. And Mad Cat Moss is going to defeat Baron Corbin again. So they're just kind of rehashing things a little bit. Other than that, this week's going to be kind of normal. Um, I'll do a show Thursday. I actually have a bunch of shows to do, to do Thursday. There's going to be a triple header, folks. Because not only is it going to be Impact Wrestling, it's Impact Predictions. Who should I have for that? I don't know. Maybe I'll do those. I could do those tonight, too. Indeed. And then it'll be, of course, Cinco Mania, which I, have, which I know I have to get things organized for later. But yeah. Friday, I do have to work till 8. I want to go to the gym because I'm not going to the gym all weekend long. That just means I'll get fat. So I'll probably catch dynamite. Saturday will be Impact Wrestling. Impact Wrestling. Hopefully I'll be done work by then. Sunday, also known as Mother's Day, which reminds me, all you out there in YouTube land, Call your mother's on Mother's Day. Because I already got my mom a gift. I got her a sword fudge from Bucky's and some. Wait a second. There we go. Now don't forget, I don't know where it cut off because I hit the magic 27 minute mark. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Don't forget to call your mother's. Wish them a happy Mother's Day. Um. I got my mom a box of assorted fudge pieces from Bucky's and a cast iron pink flamingo like scrubby holder. When you get old like me, you run out of ideas. I know my mom likes pink flamingos. And again, when you get to be my age, you realize that you got, you got your mom everything. Besides that like Vespa scooter. So she can go put, 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 put her ring around town and that would be, that's a funny, that's a funny mental image. Have her, have her take that to a bike week event. But yeah. Um, also, yeah, so that's Sunday. Oh yeah, Sunday is also Backlash. Then I think the next major show is going to be the 29th. That's AEW. I forget which one it is. They have too many of them nowadays. Um, Impact we just saw. So yeah, next week should be kind of a normalish week. We'll see. Again, depends on work. What I do, what I do it. What do I do it? What I do it? Let's see if I get some human sleep. Um. Yeah, that's it. Again, again, I have to thank everyone. Oh, the other important date. Remember, folks, June eighteenth. It's gonna be two 
Sweet. For life. Because that's going to be Triple Mania Part 2. Sweet for life. Again, I could thank all my supporters. Thank you guys. I think I had like 720 views overall. Cool stuff. Again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Um, hopefully this goes up soon. Again, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I'll probably be fiddling with this. You'll get insights to the Hobo Studio tonight as I watch AEW. Because I do have to do the final edits of stuff. Again, check that out. It's pretty neat stuff. That and you can watch or at least listen to AEW with me. Yeah, I might as well eat dinner soon, too. Yeah, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. See everyone later.